Hello everyone and welcome back to another nature figure review. It's been quite a while, nearly a month since my last review, so I wanted to come back strong. Today we're looking at the SH Figure Arts Narutop 99 Itachi Uchiha. And I gotta say, this figure is pretty nice. It is refreshing. There are some things I like about the figure and there are some things I do not like about the figure. So, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and see what all this figure comes with. First thing I want to cover is going to be the packaging. It looks good. I like the box art. Obviously, you're going to have the Narutop 99, Atachi Uchiha here. Letting you know that this figure is the Narutop 99 edition, which is very important for the things I want to say later on during the review. With the figure itself, you're getting five faceplates, which is really nice and generous considering the character, of course. And then for pairs of hands, you have a total of six pairs of hands here as well. And then you have the katana with the sheath. I do think this was an interesting take just to have the sheath and the katana being one piece rather than being able to slide it in and out. But again, they're going for that illustrated look there. And then here at the very back, you can see it is going to be the Atachi, uh, not Atachi, the Akatsuki, Akatsuki? I'm going to say Akatsuki, the Akatsuki robe. And then here it is here for you. So pretty decent stuff. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and take the figure out of the plastic and have a closer look. All right, so this is Atachi with the robe on. It looks really good. Now, again, very important that this is a Narutop 99 because here's my issue with this release. Although it is a nice release, it is a solid release. I do not like the coloring of the robe. I think the clouds need to be brighter, a brighter red. It would, the figure would just pop more. And then secondly, it's going to be the eyes. You know, the eyes, those red and the eyes are just too dull for me. You know, you can barely see the eyes pop. So how do you know for a fact, unless you're really looking deep, how do you know he's in Shiningan? It just doesn't pop. And that's like my issue with this figure is that being who the character is, I should be able to stand over down there and see the red pop. On this figure that's my opinion on the matter uh, but again this is pretty much a preview into a peak Atachi coming from SH figure arts at a later date this is to hold us over until then now I have here with me a picture of the uh, pain robe and you can see like there is a difference this is a brighter red on the outline, this is more of a maroon color to me. And this is just a brighter red, okay? This is your Narutop 99 edition, which is kind of like your event exclusive, so it's gonna be a different coloring. This is your regular Naruto release line, and you can see the difference in the robe. It's just brighter, it's more vivid, it's more vibrant, and you can see it from down across the field. So definitely looking forward to pain coming out in December. But until then, we have Itachi. now. Let's go ahead and look at something else with this figure. You can see the little pot belly he's got right here. I had a friend on Instagram uh, reach out to me and gave me a great suggestion. So I'm going to show you what that is. And this may help you as well. For starters, here's your hooks here. Oh, someone's driving wild. Uh, here's your hooks here for the robes. You just want to take it off just like that. Okay. And then again, you can just see like the red for me is just, it's muted, it's too dull, and I'm not a fan of it. Okay, I'm not a fan. And this is a polyester fabric here as well, for those who care. What you want to do is take him apart like this. Oh, we're going to have to run and grab that. And then just remove this piece here. Put them back on here. Okay. And then we'll just put the row back on. All right, so there you go. So you can kind of see he's a little bit slimmed down now. And I don't think this is a bad um, option to use this figure in. I think it works great and it's going to help 
just with maybe a little bit of shaving there so it's more slim it was a great idea for my uh my friend there who messaged me so yeah there's that there's an option you probably didn't think of now you know with that out of the way let's go ahead and take a closer look real quick because this figure does resemble Itachi well and I love how they did a great job here at the ankles that was one of my biggest issues with this Naruto line is how they did their ankles going into the feet or their calves going into the feet like they did a great job with this so I'm glad to see that there are some improvements in that area um, just the overall from the source material obviously it's not going to be 100% accurate uh, to the anime but in terms of the Naruto top 99 illustration yeah this is pretty much right on right on par one thing I do want to say before we move on is that I'm hoping that the Naruto Top 99 is going to be an event exclusive line similar to how San Diego Comic Con we had Kakashi. Uh, let's just keep it in that realm, right? Let's focus on the Naruto line. We just seen that Shikamaru is coming eventually and that's going to be the regular Naruto line. Put the Naruto Top 99, make it exclusive, premium Bandai pre-order stuff, keep it apart let's finish up the naruto line let's focus on the naruto line that being said i would still love for a first and second hokage naruto 99 i would definitely pick that up now let's go ahead and see the size comparisons here he is next to sh figure arts naruto top 99 naruto marvel legends deadpool and then lastly storm collectibles evil ryu now let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation all right, so let's take a closer look at this Itachi's articulation. Basically, it's what you would expect from a uh, SH Figure Arts figure. You know, great mobility all the way around. The hair piece here in the back does move around a little bit. Not really pose around, but it does move, okay? Which is pretty good. The arms, as you would expect. Butterfly joints is there, double jointed. Elbows, bicep swivel, forearm swivel, pretty much everything that you would want with the figure, right? They try to maximize all the articulation you can see here. So you get the cut there. Just the whole fit itself for me personally, I'm not feeling it. But it, it looks good. It's uh, It works. You can twist, you can rock, you can do everything you want to do here. The legs, you know, you hit that 90. Good articulation in the knees, come down to the feet. Extend out, up, got some rocker movement as well, toe pivot. So all the good stuff that you typically will get with an SH figure art, you're going to find it here as well. But what you won't get with every SH figure art is going to be a decent amount of face plates and pairs of hands. So let's take a look at all of those. All right, so here's our four face plates. And again, just for me personally, like I don't like how the eyes are just such a muted red. I wish it was more vivid, it, it was popping more. I feel like it just would have been a better experience. And I know we're gonna get that sometime in the future, but with this release, it does feel like a bit of a letdown. And, and, and you know, this Amaterasu face is like so expressiveless, like it just bothers me because when I think about Itachi using a Matsuratsu, there's a lot of effort and, you know, pain involved, right? Because he bleeds from his eye, but we're not getting that. We're not getting that with this faceplate. So I hope they revisit that with the official peak Itachi release. Um, you would get this side look here. I'm digging that. It looks good. Uh, and then all these expressions here. Again, I just wish the eyes popped more and I wish there was a little bit more expression in these face plates, but let's go ahead and move into the pairs of hands. When it comes to the hands, no complaints there. You're getting the appropriate amount and just everything that pretty much is significant to the character. Closed fists, open hands here. This is for our um, fireball jutsu, jutsu hands. These hands here is for him to relax out of his robe, of course. And then lastly, we have his katana and sheath wielding hands here. So very good pairs of hands, no complaints there. Now let's take a look at the katanas. These are great accessories for Itachi and appropriate, obviously. And I think they were handled well, though I will say I wish I could just pick this up and just pull it out and, and push it in maybe. Um, or they could have just erased this and just gave us a sheath. I mean, honestly, we would have been able to recreate that um, illustration, obviously. But nonetheless, two is always better than one. 
So we're winning in that aspect. Now let's go ahead and wrap this up with the conclusion. To conclude this review, most likely most of you are going to pick up this Itachi figure and I wouldn't stray you from that because this is a figure I originally was not going to pick up until I saw the pain pre-order and reveal of course. Once that happened I was like okay I'm definitely going to get this figure only to compare it to the pain figure and to see what the difference are as far as your shading, coloring, the robes and so on because there, there are differences with the robe. Shading and, and coloring aside, uh, just when you go to close the robe, uh, there, there are differences. So just to have that comparison will be nice for me and for you all, of course. Going back to Itachi, though, would I recommend this figure? Yeah, I mean, of course, why not? This is something to hold you until we get the official peak Itachi release. This is a great shoe-in until that uh, figure comes. And... You know, it pairs well and it looks it's going to look great with all the other SH figure art Naruto uh, figures out there. So at the end of the day, ultimately, it is up to you. Comment and let me know if you got this figure. I know a lot of you are excited for this figure. I am as well, though I feel like it could have been done better. And I know it will be done better with the official Naruto line release. Thank you all for watching. Drop those likes, leave a comment, and we will see you all in the next nature review. Peace.